Hey guys, I want to share with you my new favorite juice recipe. I actually copied Green and Berry. I went there last week in, I think it was the last vlog, and it was three ingredients. It didn't even sound that good reading it out loud, like if if they would mix well together, but they did and I loved it and I'm obsessed. And, and so I got the stuff to make it and I made it yesterday with the boys and I tried to vlog it, but thought I pressed record and I didn't. It was so good, Jameson loved it and I'm making it again for you guys today. So there are, I wanna talk about juicers. So Colin bought me this juicer way back when, like over six years ago. And it obviously was an investment. I think it was four or $500. It's the Breville, I don't even know, but really good investment. If this is something you think you're always gonna love, great. I haven't had problems with it. It is a little bit, a bit of a pain to juice in general, but I think that's any juicer that you have anyway. So I love juice. Uh, it makes me feel good and I will go in phases. Sometimes I won't use it for a couple months and then sometimes I'll use it. But I always feel like, especially since moving to Florida, why do I have this in front of me? There is always room for just like some fresh juice and sunlight and you know, whatever. So. I know there's so many different options on Amazon. You don't have to feel pressured to spend a lot of money on a juicer. You don't have to have the juicer. You just need juice. I did try to make a smoothie out of juice once and it just wasn't the same consistency for me and I didn't like the taste. Obviously with juicing, you're losing a lot of the fiber, if not maybe all. I don't know, I'm not a health professional. But again, I love it. I feel great and that's all that matters. So that was just my one little tip that I wanted to share with you. Don't feel pressured to that you have to have that one. Like start off with whichever one you can afford, read the reviews on Amazon and just get that one. Okay, so I know I've shared my other one, my other recipe on a different vlog, but that's usually my go-to. You have to find what you're saying, like your taste buds and what you like the most. This one really is so good. So I got a pineapple. And I don't know why, but last week I ordered frozen pineapple. And so yesterday when I juiced, I used frozen pineapple. I don't know. I was It was supposed to be for a smoothie, but I was like, this is all that I have. So this is what I'm using. And I got some organic carrots. And then some turmeric. Turmeric. I feel weird when I say that. I feel like I'm always gonna say it wrong. But I only thought turmeric was like a seasoning. Not a seasoning. A spice. Would that be considered a spice? An herb? A seasoning? I don't know. Let's look it up. It's considered a plant. Okay. It's so funny, when you Google something, you can read nine million different side effects, health benefits, like, I can't, it's too much, it's too overwhelming for me. Okay, so, yesterday I added like, one, two, three, four, five carrots. I wanna see some, because I wanna make sure I make Jameson some, he's napping right now. So, I did like five carrots, but really, this is three ingredients, two juice, and so simple. So I'm gonna skin the carrots, cut the pineapple, and then you do, I do skin the turmeric. Like certain things when I juice, I don't. So like my lemon, I'll just cut the sides off. Um, I think that's all for that one. But I just try to make it as simple as possible.
juicer that I have. Bravo. And what you do is you literally put everything in here to turn it on. And then you use this to, sorry, no, it's not a good angle. You use this to push it down. But this is the on and off button, so turn it on. And then depending on how hard it is, like if you're doing an apple, you can do it all different speeds. Now, this part is the shoot. This is where all of the non-juice stuff, the I think it's called, you call it like pulp, goes into here. Now, I'll usually put a bag in here for really easy cleanup. Um, so I'm going to grab one of those. I'll show you how I do that. And then like I just showed you this, this is just the connector and this is where the juice goes in. So just going to grab a plastic bag and I'm just going to take it all apart, I guess now to show you guys what it looks like. So it just come like there's this part when you take it all apart let's see if i can do this with one hand okay so this is what it looks like with it disconnected um so the first part first thing i'm gonna do let's see if i could do this with one hand so that will go right on this stand right here that way it'll catch everything and you can take it out and you won't have to have a big mess with all the pulp so do that the second part that you put together is this is really hard with one hand hold on okay perfect and then there's this which is obviously like the blade you just pop this on perfect and then the top goes on beautiful and then you have your little shoot and then what catches your juice so you'll just pop this up clicks right in and then this goes right under you got it plugged in got all of your stuff prepped and washed I forgot to wash my carrots so after I skin them I wash them and then after you just do your best but I'm gonna juice that so I'm gonna do that much like I said I want to do it for Jamal but I want to make sure it's fresh for him so I'm gonna make mine now really quick and then once I hear that he's up I'll juice it really quick because he likes to eat right when not that this is eating but right when he wakes up yeah Okay, so one thing that I've never done with my juice is put ice in it, but at Grain and Berry they did. They put lots of really like yummy crushed ice. So I got this on Amazon. It just creates like those little ice cubes. Manix is doing it and you just, it's kind of annoying to get them out. I don't know, maybe I'm doing it, maybe I'm just doing it wrong, I don't know, but I have actual juice glasses, but yesterday I put it in this and I loved it. So I'm gonna put it in this one, I'm gonna put the ice in it and put in straw and can't wait. Okay. Oh, I love that you're putting your feet all over this. Can't wait to put it in my mouth. Thank you. Okay, now pour the juice in there. Okay. Good job, keep going. Keep going. Good. Now put the straw in it. Mmm, you stirring it for me? Okay. Thank you. I already got something on my shirt. It's so delicious. God is good. Okay. Now I'm on to the next concoction. It's almost three o'clock. I'm gonna make some sweet potato rounds. So I'm gonna wash this sweet potato. I'm gonna cut it up decide like do I want to do guac with it do I just want to do like not guac guac um 
Okay. So that guac recipe is a couple of vlogs back. And when I originally made it, I used tortilla chips, but I don't know what made me do it. But last time I put it on top of these sweet potato rounds that I baked and it was like the most incredible thing that I've ever had. So go back a couple vlogs and watch that. I, I think the thumbnail is actually guac. Um, I put like corn and bacon in it, tons of cilantro, and then I'm just gonna cut this, line it on the baking sheet, spray it with some avocado, put some avocado oil on it, season it with some garlic salt, some pepper probably because I put pepper on everything and I don't know cook it at 400 degrees I'll probably do like one side about 10 to 12 minutes flip them over get them get them nice and crispy and then serve it with the guac here we go Going down. Manix, it's going down. This brand, I don't know if this is everywhere because I, no, actually, I feel like I've seen it be like at Orchard Fresh and Orchard Park when they used to have it. But this is the world's greatest, you need some help, ice cream ever. So far, we've tried the mint chip, cookies and cream, and then this one is peanut butter fudge. <laughs> it is life changing. Don't mind all of the boxes we're packing. Still don't have anywhere to live though, so we're still packing. Hey, because hey. we're putting it out into the universe. The house, the right house, is waiting for us. Honestly, this market is in, is insane. It's just so insane, and I just keep saying like, as hard as it is, and in the moment, like this morning was really hard. Aw, uh, are you going to give him his spoon? I just keep saying like it's not the right one. There's a better one for us and it's all gonna work out like it is what it is you know and there's people going through way worse situations than looking for a house like that's not something that I want to give my energy to so um anyways this was about ice cream not the market but that's what I wanted to say do you chew your ice cream or do you let your ice cream melt because I noticed just while on camera I chew my ice cream should I be so disappointed in myself? We we're actually just getting ready to go to the playground. You okay? And it started raining, so I pulled out some ice cream. We're gonna let it pass, see how it goes, and then make our plans. We have a couple other houses to drive by that we could possibly rent. Gonna see how that goes, and um, that's it. Haven't been doing much around here lately. We ended up getting, long, long story short, we ended up getting a little stomach bug for 24 hours at my sister-in-law's house. 
it was a complete nightmare and now they're all sick but um i don't know we definitely didn't go there sick and i definitely didn't want to get all of them sick you know you feel so guilty but we're gonna sit here and eat some ice cream in the thunderstorm yeah um, we'll see you guys soon Yeah, we gotta wait for daddy. It's starting to rain. <laughs> Just got to our favorite place to eat, like the only place that we eat out, I guess, because the food here is just not the same as home. Um, but we drove past a house this morning. It's been such a mess. Like, I don't even wanna talk about it because I feel like it's like this. Um, but it's literally 10 minutes from all of our favorite things so we'll wait to hear about that one and then it's just a huge competition that's all it is so we decided to come here for lunch before Colin has to go to work it's they have the best pineapple bread in the world like world but it just started to rain so we're gonna head in and wait they said like 10-15 minutes and have some lunch it's hurricane season here so it's been raining like every day which kind of stinks but um it's also like the best like the fresh just like this i love the smell after a thunderstorm and it's just kind of like cozy and i don't know i don't mind it's definitely not the same as at home but all right we're gonna head in eating and I just ran into you guessed it the grocery store but I had to get some water too I've been really into I want to get the Mountain Valley water subscription I never had any idea that spring water was the best thing for you and I don't know if I told you guys this story I feel like I say this every vlog did I tell you this I don't know but I got some at Whole Foods and I ended up looking it up to see what the if they had like a subscription service for like delivery water so I could support locally because it was called Starkey and there's a Starkey market here and it was like it said like Whole Foods Starkey spring water had high traces of arsenic in it and like all of this crazy stuff and i'm like you just never know so this is a trusted brand insane because the we have a life i think it's called life life straw filter it's glass and when i run my water through it it's so filthy like i have to scrub it off and it still doesn't even completely come off and i know when i was when we first moved here my face was so bad I still break out like for my period and if I'm stressed but it was going insane so I've just been looking into like the whole water filtration system and 
Um, it's so funny because when you start to look into those things, it makes you feel a little bit crazy because it's just not the norm or it's not what people do, but it's, it's, it shouldn't, it, you, it shouldn't make you feel that way. Like, I feel like that on this whole new journey with myself, like I feel so uncomfortable going through it all, but, um, because it's not what majority people do. And so you just feel, I don't know, but I got in the car and Manix was like, I have to go to the bathroom and Colin's like, I'll take him. So they're running into the bathroom. I wish we had today off because yesterday was just not a vibe at all. And it was Colin's day off. I was exhausted and we had to fill out a couple different forms for the house. And I was on the phone for almost two hours with these people. And it just was exhausting and depressing. So we're gonna head home now. Colin's gonna be back in the car, we're gonna head home. And I'm gonna see, I don't know what we're gonna, I'm gonna do with the boys. I'm definitely not the mom to go run around and chase two little children somewhere by myself. Especially not in unfamiliar places. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I'm propping you up on my pillow, but we just got home from our late lunch, stopped at the grocery store, and then now I'm just trying to get in like 15 minutes of reading before Colin starts to get ready for work. I love to read. I don't like Audible because I like the physical book. Like I, I want to be like immersed in the book and like touching the pages and I know that's like a lot, but I cannot get back into it at all. Like I just have been so tired and we've just been busy and I just haven't been winding down the way that I wanted to. So especially when Colin's overnights, like I don't really have any time to myself at night. So I listened to a podcast, Jay Shetty. I feel like he could be kind of cheesy. I always wonder like, is he really truly like all of those things? Cause that would be amazing. But I do love him. Like I love him and I think he's great, but some of it I feel like can be like really rah rah. And I feel like when you're on a spiritual journey can seem really rah-rah you know and so sometimes I'm like eh, I'm not feeling it but uh, he has a lot of good people on his podcast I try my best to listen to what I really the reason why I the reason why I really love Aubrey Marcus is because he has people that I don't know you know like he doesn't have you know you go to Jay Shetty's and it's like Oprah uh, Jada Pickett Smith, Will Smith, like all the people and all the things. So I love just choosing like, so I don't know Russ. My brother knows Russ, so, but my brother's into music. So it's like, he would obviously know who that is. And he had such an inspiring podcast and I loved listening to it, but it was just, there was no crazy thing that he said like everything that he said was so realistic and the things that we already know but need to be reminded of and i just loved his energy and i loved his vibe so i was telling my brother about it and he's like ash i literally brought bought you that book and you told me that you already had too many books to like read so he gave it to me and it's really small i just have my my brother gave me this photo of me and the kids it's my bookmark but it's really tiny and it's split up into sections. It's called Get Out of Your Way. And it's simple. It's such an easy read. It's so simple. It's a reminder. Like I think that you could read one of these every night and just can like just when you're done, just start over and just remind yourself of the things, which is so important. So this is a really good one if you are looking for something to read or want to get into, oops, sorry, an easy read. Um, oh yeah, so it's three parts. The first part, he talks all about delusion and how healthy it is to have, to be delusional. Like, and I was thinking that just there's something about like driving on the, like by the water and the palm trees and especially here, everybody's on vacation and we're not. And so it's like being reminded of that. Like we haven't been down to our favorite place in a couple of weeks. Um, we usually try to go for like a date night and we haven't gone in like two weeks. We're driving down there and it's like you just remember all of your 
like I'm such you can hear me they're rustling in the other room but I just have so many hopes and dreams and I am I'm a dreamer like I just I I just want so much from this one life that we have and I'm just not okay with like not dreaming like i'm just a dreamer i don't want to like play it safe i don't i have big dreams so um he talks about in here like how important it is to be delusional within your dreams let everybody think that you're crazy let everybody tell you you can't do it it's not their life like and then part two he I, which i haven't gotten to it says part two is about persistence so obviously staying persistent and then two is persistence and then it has you know little sections and then part three is gratitude and I feel like everybody that I look up to or aspire to be on the same journey as them always talks about the main thing is just gratitude and I don't know I'm just like just like really trying to figure out who I am right now at this point in my life was like one door closed on who I was and now there's like this new you know Colin was saying today when we were driving around he's like we're planting our feet you know all of our seeds and like getting our feet into the ground into the ground here and it's just a different I don't know but this is really good so if you're looking like I said for an easy read definitely this and then I'm gonna jump into all of my other ones that I want to I really gotta get gotta get back on it but so I'm going to read this for a little bit. I'm going to sip on my tea. That's a new tea that I'm going to try. I've been really into tea. So this is our Friday night. I hope you're having a good night. Talk to you in a little bit.